Hi, it's Chris Westfall here. Real quick minute to spend with you. I'm going to get on a cruise ship today, so I'm dressed a little bit down. Uh, this time, just taking the wife and leaving the kids with the relatives locally. We're going to go down to Nassau for a couple of days on a Carnival cruise ship. You know, living by a port is really convenient because you don't have to travel too much or stay overnight to get on a cruise ship. And just jump on it and go. My uh, access while I'm gone will be fairly limited. I'm only going to work about one hour a day online which I'd go crazy if I couldn't do that. So support ticket responses may be a little bit delayed until this weekend, but it's already going to be Thursday at noon when I leave anyway. So I just want to point out a couple of very important things to some new people that have joined the site. A whole bunch of new people have joined the site in about the last 30 days. Uh, and I want to point out three people that stand out to me this week and give you a big kudos, congratulations to Dale S. Dale S., uh, jumped on the dialer for the first time this week, made a sale, bam, after the first hour, hour and a half. And then uh, yesterday, Wednesday, wrote me and said he's already made three for the week already. And he's already seeing a little bit out from wanting other people to do the cold calling for him using his dialer. And now he's at the position already where he can transition a little bit and find, identify who can do that uh, first initial lead in for him so he can spend more time qualifying the bigger list of people coming in from somebody doing that qualifying. So congratulations, Dale. Off to a rockin' fast start. And then Danielle H. wrote to me last night that she's done her first phone application using the screen, t screen share technology and everything. Congratulations, Danielle. And then last week, I forgot to mention Shawnee uh, just doing a bang-up job right off the bat with the dialer. She's already going to hire somebody in the Philippines to do her initial cold calling for so congratulations to all three of you and I want to remind you as new members if you're contracting through my agency which you don't have to there are a lot of people here from other FMOs and that's great you're completely welcome but if you happen to contract with one of my companies and my companies are all at sellmedicarebyphone.com sellmedicarebyphone but you don't have to if you did and you're making your first sale with me through one of my companies please send me a support ticket. You know, we've got 16, 20 different companies and there's no way that I can be alerted, notified that some new agent wrote a new policy with uh, Stonebridge, Cigna, Mutual, one of the other companies and it's the first sale so we need to turn off the, uh, the, the payment on the membership site at MedicareAgentTraining.com. So it's not an automated process. So when you do make your first sale and you're with me for that company, please send a support ticket to support at MedicareAgentTraining.com. It's just a simple email and we can turn off the payment for your monthly membership. You'll continue as a valued member of our agent community. So congratulations to those three, Dale, Danielle, and Shawnee, for a wonderful fast start to you. And I want to share something else with the new people. And that is, you know, I got a question last night from an agent who says, you know, I don't sound very professional when I talk on the phone. I sound like a, a little girl or I, I sound... You know, no radio voice here. I sound like I'm weak or I forgot how he put it exactly. And he said, is that going to prevent me from being able to sell over the phone? And it reminded me of a, a statement from Jim Rohn, one of the best sales trainers ever. And I'm going to put his clip at the end of this video. And Jim Rohn said, what you lack in skill, you can make up in numbers. That's the best thing. You get your ratio right off the bat. You know, I have to talk to 100 people before I get one person that's interested, qualified, and wants to do a sale. Or I have to talk to 150 people. Whatever your number is, it, when you have that ratio, then you've got a target. Now you can continue to work on your skills, listen to the top 20% CD that we've got, um, listen to the other selling by phone uh, audio training courses that we've got already on the membership site, and work on your skills in your downtime. But you've got to get up there and get back up on the horse. So if you get beat down, beat down, beat down, understand the more no's you go through, you're getting closer to the sale. And once you know that ratio, if you give it a week or two weeks and you know what your ratio is, look, I did 400 dials. Now I've got somebody that I can write an application with. Whatever the number is, it doesn't matter. You've got to track what you're going to progress in. You get better at whatever it is that you track. So listen to Jim Rohn as he explains it much better than I. And uh, I think you'll be really encouraged by it. You've just got to stick with it. Now, look, if you have to start like I did, doing final expense two days a week 
and then working on your residual income for the rest of the week, that's fine. Or if you're still working a part-time job, still working a full-time job, whatever it is that you have to do to get through the initial startup phase in selling Medicare supplements and helping seniors, go for it. You know, you can bifurcate your income. You can have multiple streams of income coming in. That's completely fine. Uh, don't cut off all of your streams of income and think that day one with calling seniors, you're going to start making a fortune. It doesn't happen that way. This is get rich slow, build it slow. And one last tip I'm going to give you when it comes to helping seniors with Medicare supplements, they can absolutely positively tell over the phone whether you are confident or not. So practice it until you perfect it. Some people say fake it till you make it. I don't believe that. Practice it until you perfect it. You have to exude confidence in that you know what you're talking about. Even if you're not the expert yet, you know you can help them. And the other thing that they can detect, you know, in law enforcement, we had the voice stress analyzer. People have that built in, the innate ability to detect when you are not confident about something. And the other thing is they'll detect your level of sincerity. If your heart when you're calling them is, who can I help today? And that's what you need to get in the right frame of mind, the focus, before you call. Who am I going to help today? And you can make the affirmation to yourself, I am going to help people today. I'm going to find people who are receptive. I'm going to find people who want to be helped. And I am going to help people today. If your heart and your attitude and your mindset is to call and help people rather than calling to make a sale, that's not where it's at. You've got to call with your mind set that you are going to help somebody today. Look, I'm just calling to help you. If you're interested, great. If not, that's fine too. And when you become emotionally detached from the outcome, it's all about the activity. Focus on the activity. Don't be emotionally attached to the outcome. You'll be completely fine. I guarantee it. So again, your focus on the outcome is only that you want to help somebody they will be able to pick that up. And that's the best thing about this business. When I go home and I save somebody another $50 a month yesterday, wrote the application with New Era, they're thrilled. So when I go home every night and I, I reflect on what I did during the day, I always want to reward myself up in here that I was able to help somebody today. And I'll spat it off to my family. Hey, I saved another lady $50 a month today on the same plan she had already. And as long as that remains the consistent focus of my business, not making sales numbers, not getting the commission percentage right, not getting the maximum advance or, or doing some company contest, as long as it's the best thing for the client, I'm going to be fine. I know that. That's the way the world works. As long as my focus is on helping enough people, I'll be taken care of. So... Bon voyage, everybody. Listen to this from Jim Rohn. I know it will encourage and inspire you and keep up the good work until you've made it to where you have tremendous residual income. So whether you roll over in bed or you roll out of bed, it doesn't matter. You're consistently getting paid because your heart and your mind and your business focus was in the right place from the start. God bless y'all. Bye-bye. The next subject is called the law of averages. The law of averages. It's so important to understand the law of averages. The law of averages in a personal sense is, is very simple. Here's what it says. If you do something often enough, you'll get a ratio of results. It's important for leaders to understand ratios. Because if you're working with people, you've got to have some charts. You've got to know ratios. You've got to be able to evaluate your own performance, their performance. Ratios. What do we mean by ratios? Well, let's say you're in sales, you join a company, and you start representing the products or the service. And you're first getting started, you talk to ten people. Nine say, no, I wouldn't care for any. One says, yes, I'll take some. We call this your opening ratio. Now, one out of ten, it all depends on what you're involved with, whether or not that's a good ratio or a poor ratio. You say, well, that's not too good a ratio. Well, it all depends. Okay? But it's your opening ratio. So at first, you don't worry about what the numbers are. At first, you just get some activity going. Now, we call this very simply one out of ten. Now, here's what's very exciting about dealing in ratios. Once a ratio starts, it tends to continue. Now, this is some things leadership needs to know so that you're not frustrated. If you talk to ten people, one says yes. If you talk to ten more, chances excellent, you'll get another one. 
If you talk to 10 more, chances excellent you'll get another one. It's uncanny. I don't even know how it works. All I know is it works. There's a lot of things you don't need to know how they work. Just work them. Right? A lot of people are studying the roots. Others are gathering the fruit. I mean, it depends on what end of this you want to get in on. <laughs> it just works. It's a fascinating subject. The law of averages. Okay? Now, once you know that your ratio pretty well is in there, one out of ten, now you can start to compete. It is so important to compete, to test your skill against someone else's skill. What someone else can do is a pretty good insight and if you stretch what you might be able to do. So competition is a very healthy thing. Now, you've got to be very smart here. If you've been with this company, let's say, a long time and you've been there so long, you're so good, you can get nine out of ten, and I just joined and I can only get one out of ten, if we have a 30-day contest as to who can get the most to say yes to our product or service, if we have a 30-day contest, you and me, even though I can only get one out of ten, I will win. You say, well, I've been here a long time. I can get nine out of ten. How could you possibly beat me? It would be very simple. Now, it might not be easy, but it would be very simple. During the 30 days, since I understand now these ratios, during the month, while you talk to 10 and get 9, I will talk to 100 and get 10. So that at the end of 30 days, you got 9, I got 10, I beat you. Isn't that clever? <laughs> Let me give you a scenario here. If you're bright, what you do if you're new, you make up in numbers what you lack in skill. This is called helping people with the numbers, helping people with ratios. Someone says, well, I can only get 1 out of 10. Say, that's got nothing to do with competition. Now, after 30 days, I may be fairly exhausted. But see, I'm pretty good for a 30-day run. One is I don't sleep much for 30 days. About four hours sleep is all I need for 30 days. Now, I got to back off after 30 days, I'll admit that. But for 30 days, I can go on four hours sleep. Now, see, it's hard to beat somebody that won't sleep. How are you gonna, how are you gonna beat somebody? <laughs> About one hour a day for nutrition. That's all I need, one meal a day, one hour a day for nutrition. In 30 days, how, how are you going to beat somebody that won't eat? <laughs> won't eat, won't sleep. Uh, the answer is, it's hard. It's hard, even if they're new. But if the new person is so clever to make up in numbers what they first lack in skill, I'm telling you, you can compete even though you're new. The key is to be bright enough to understand ratios. Here's the next clue. Ratios can be increased. You talk to 10, get one, talk to 10, get one, talk to 10, get one, talk to 10 more, get two. Why would about the fourth time you talk to 10, you get two instead of one? You're getting better. Key question, who can get better? Answer, anybody who tries. All you got to do is put together the numbers, right? Your brain is as good as anybody else's. Your chances are as good. All you got to do is find a way to put out the extraordinary effort to do an ordinary thing extremely well. Ratios. Success is a numbers game. It's important to keep track of your numbers. In baseball, we call it batting average. Whatever you're doing, the key is to keep track of your success and how good you are at whatever. Someone says, well, I'm not very good on the telephone. I tell you how you can quickly cure all that is get on the telephone. I'm telling you, you can get better at anything. All you've got to do is attempt it and try it and start putting a string of numbers together and keeping track and understand your own ratios. I teach a very simple sales course. Let me give it to you in three points. Number one, talk to lots of people every day. It's a simple sales course. Number one, talk to lots of people. Isn't that simple? It's a numbers game, especially if you're new. And here's what's exciting. There's lots of people. <laughs> you don't have to worry about people. So just talk to lots of people, even if your presentation is very poor. If you put the numbers together, I'm telling you, something will happen. If your presentation was so poor, you went around every day saying to everybody you could meet, you wouldn't want to buy anything, would you? Sure enough, somebody's going to say, well, maybe I would. What are you selling? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just about that simple. If you put the numbers together... If you talk to lots of people every day, two things will happen. Number one, you're bound to make sales. I'm telling you, some people buy for the strangest reasons. <laughs> hey.
Hey, some people buy out of sympathy for the salesperson. I'm telling you, you can find some people that'll buy out of sympathy. They don't want to see your kids starve. I'm telling you, if you'll talk to enough people, some people will buy out of sympathy. So part of success is, you know, look pitiful to enough people, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody will buy. And why, why? It's because of ratios. It's because of numbers.